are right here in Dedham now getting national attention for the dramatic video of an autistic teenager restrained and shocked more than 30 times today. In court, the defense going after the plaintiff's expert witness insisting there's more to this video. Fox Undercover's Mike Baudet first brought you this story. He's here now with today's developments. What do you have, Mike? Maria, this story is getting attention now all over the country, and there's also now a call from a top state official to ban the shocks altogether. It all comes as lawyers for the Judge Roten Center and its doctors fight back, defending the use of the shock treatments. Controversy, nothing new to the center, but what is new this time is that the public is seeing this video. It's video recorded by a Rotenberg Center camera of one of its former clients, Andre McCollins, restrained face down and shocked for hours inside a classroom. The video is painful to watch, and a psychiatrist testifying on behalf of McCollins has already told the jury that he did not see staff trying to help McCollins. But lawyers for the center, the only place in the country, by the way, to use these shock treatments, attacked the psychiatrist for not watching all eight hours of the tape and missing several instances of when they say staff did try to help. They offered McCollins a drink, a chance to go to the bathroom, and told him to stop tensing his body, which is one of the behaviors they shocked him for. So you made the decision then to skip over things sure. on that video. Sure, I had no problem with skipping over things. And you know that when you skip over things and fast forward, there's no audio, correct? Correct. You gave testimony before this jury that peer <coughs> providers were not talking to Andre and explaining things to him, correct? That's correct. That's not true, is it? Not true completely because we just saw about maybe four instances of sentences being said to him that could be construed as explanation, uh, relatively inadequate, uh, rather inadequate in my estimation, but we did see some of it. So that part of it is uh, not completely true. That psychiatrist previously told the jury that McCollins was left with permanent damage from the shocks, but lawyers for the center are pointing to medical records they say show McCollins was not permanently damaged, and that's a key point of McCollins' case. The drama isn't just playing out in a courtroom. Senate President Therese Murray is weighing in, telling us she wants the state to ban the use of shocks and other aversive therapies. She has the support of the Senate to do so, but so far, not the House. I hope that the House will look at this. Uh, seeing the tapes now, I've seen them before, but seeing what happens to these people and the, and the staff maybe laughing or not responding to their cries of help in the background is just deplorable. House Speaker Robert DeLeo is also weighing in, but he stopped short of calling for a ban of the shocks, releasing a statement saying any human being should be horrified by the images shown in the video of Andre McCollins' treatment. As someone who visited the JRC and saw firsthand the struggles these kids face on a daily basis, which in many cases manifest themselves in acts of self-torture, burning, cutting, and worse, I can say that we need to do everything within our power to ease their pain and suffering. The Rotenberg Center also issued a statement pointing out that they treat some of the most difficult students in the country and use these shocks only to treat severe behavior disorders. The civil trial continues in Norfolk Superior Court on Friday when McCollum's mother is expected to return to the stand. I'm Mike Bodette for Fox Undercover.